Hello, what is up YouTube? Uh, today we are going to be talking about um, how to improve your aiming or how to aim at the highest level. Um, I think I have a good sense of like how to build your sensitivity um, and get your aiming skills to a way that is going to allow you to aim at a highest level. Um, the terms I'm going to be talking about are very abstract in nature and some are not so abstract, some are very concrete. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, take what you will from this video. I just wanted to make it because I like talking about it. And yeah, so when I look at aiming and what makes aiming important, um, the biggest thing I think is just utility. Like I want my aimer to be the strongest it can be. I don't want it to be a certain way besides like making me hit more shots. I think everyone should you know, approach that as a general principle. So one way I do that is I change my aim a lot because aiming feels so inconsistent in this game and consistent at the same time. I change it a lot so let's look at my settings but not really take these into account let's just like talk about them so I play 5 Excel I play 3 3 and um, all 0 0 0 dead zones now this is what I feel like works right now the best like this is like the best sensitivity in the game um, and I'll explain my ideology and thought process um, basically there's different aiming styles in Halo and you'll tend to notice that like the highest level pros will um, cater towards those aim styles for example royal 2 aims kind of like smoothly like he like you know likes to really take his time with the shots so he'll play like a slower sense with a higher input threshold um for example like this here i'm gonna try to aim like royal 2 he'll like um really take his time you know i can't i don't aim like royal 2 so like he'll just really take his time with the shots um i see that as like a very inefficient aiming style so i'm not going to try to aim like that let me just shoot him a couple more bots to like try to like like this you no, know, takes time. Make sure they're always on target. Um, just so I can like put into words what I'm trying to explain or put into action. It's like yeah, real smooth. And you know, it's good to have that aiming style every now and then. I just feel like he's really consistent at that smooth, uh, that smooth type of aim of like smoothing to those targets. Like you can see that in snipes where he's just like, you know, he just like glides to the person. I don't snipe like that either. Um, one of the players who I think has the best aim in the game is Renegade. Based off his aggressive aiming style, um, I take that approach of like, I like having that flicking aiming style because the time to your target is so fast. So it's like here and it's like now I can operate within the fight. You know what I'm saying? It's so like Royal 2 has this like flicky, like this like smooth, um, like smooth style, but the time that it takes to, you know, really take your time and like track those people it's like that takes away from how fast you can get a kill and it's like that's what renegade's really good at renegade goes you know like he's able to flick on his targets and like aim in that semi-aggressive way and like that's how i've kind of taken his aim um the same with sniping i aim in a very uh, aggressive way so i like flicking my shots because it's just faster you know you're able to get more out of your life you're able to do you know what pros say is that maximum damage because you're able to aim in such an aggressive way, in an aggressive manner. Um, and, and to do that, the reason this relates is because of my sensitivity. So generally when I look for a sensitivity, I want something at that's going to allow me to have that flicky aim style. And five and five cents is going to be that for me. Like um, aim assist and magnetism is the strongest um, when you play at a higher sensitivity. That's why the shock rifle feels good at higher senses because you know you're able to get that magnetism on their head. Um, you're able to get that magnetism that you need because you're playing at a higher sense. Um, and yeah, that's just like that's just one thing about playing at a higher sense. All right, one thing I want to talk about and and prove upon the idea is every gun is going to feel different based off your sense. And what I mean by that is that there's some guns that reward different sensitivities. For example, the shock rifle that I'm using right now rewards that snappier aiming style. Um, to, like if you're like a smooth aimer, um, kind of like a Royal 2, uh, your shock rifle is actually going to be a little weaker because again, that a lot of time that it takes to like get on the target is going to take away from you actually hitting the shot. Again, look at those rent, like that's... I can only use Renegade as an example because he's the only player I've watched aim like that. I've really not cared to watch any other people's aiming styles because I truly think Renegade is one of the best aimers in the game. Um, 
but yeah, you kind of, I think this flicking style is essentially the best, like, in the game. Like, it truly is. Um, yeah, moving on to my dead zones. And the reason, like, the importance of dead zones is because you want, you want that responsiveness. Like, 0, 0, 0 is the best without a debate. Now, there is, it does depend on your joystick and controller type, though. Because what I am noticing is this actual dead zone right here. Um, once you're on target, it like allows for that flickier aim even like more, like that flicking style, because it slows you down once you're on target, like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think any other other settings are really important. Like the center dead zone is basically taking away aim assist from you. Uh, your the input threshold is basically like once you're on target, it moves, and like that just fucks up your entire response, like your entire. Um, Oh, hold on, I did move. I didn't even like, show you guys a good example. Um, I don't think zero... I don't think you should be fucking with these like, whatsoever. Like, center dead zone is taking away your aim assist. Threshold is, like, once you're on target, it moves within the target, and it's just, like, that's terrible. This is the only one you should, really should be operating. I mean, the proof is that, like, Renegade plays zero zero three Because he has that aggressive aiming style, like I said, and I couldn't give you an example because I was changing my move. It's like because he has that flicking A style, um, and like his controller type, he's going to, um, you know, he's going to have those flicks, that flicking type esque movement or that flicking type uh, aim. Um, so yeah, there is there is discussion. It, honestly, I think at this point it's preference, like whatever you feel like makes you hit your most shots on your controller. Because again, everyone's controller is different. You can't tell yourself. Uh, you can't tell yourself, man, like, oh, Renegade plays 0, zero 3 but it's like, Renegade's controller is also different. So for me, personally, I use the Thrustmaster, and zero 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 like, this is the most responsive. Um, it helps me hit all my shots, like, this is the most responsive. This is where it is preference, because of your controller, not because of, like, your individuality. It's like, you have to figure out what works for you if you want your aim to be at the highest level, because, um, everyone's controller is different. Like, I can't go and give you my controller and, then, like, you understand. Like, you have to figure your shit out yourself. So, one thing that I want to say before I go, because this video has been very open-ended and abstract, um, is why the importance of the sensitivity and understanding your aim and style. Like I said, 5 is just going to allow for the faster flickiness. Um, and I kind of find more success at, like, a lower uh, sense. Um, because you're able to get that like nice ratio of flicking, but also still having control. Um, that's what makes it important. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. I hope you learned something from it. Um, this is information that I've been like holding to myself for a long time that I feel like no one talks about, or maybe uh, they do talk about it. I just don't go out and watch videos. I just wanted to put my own guide out there because <laughs> obviously I think my guide's going to be the best if I'm putting out a video. And maybe I have an updated guide, and then I'm like, hey, I found out this information. Um, let's talk about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want me to do more open-ended videos like this on talking about sensitivities and discussions, uh, please let me know. I love making videos like this. And yeah, everyone have a nice day.